Hello everyone and welcome to Free Games Part 408! Once again I have prepared 15 games for you and I must admit this is quite an interesting batch. I would be surprised if any one of you wouldn't find at least one interesting game for you. And there is only, well, <laughs> one way to find out. Let's watch the video! The Zukov Line is a short one-room first-person horror which takes place on a livestock train. I always wanted to do that. Adapta Solva. <laughs> Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Uh, it's a puzzle adventure 3D platformer. Nika game is a cosmic twist on the Suica style game with space and gravity, where your ultimate goal is to become a star. Meteora's Mystic Merge is yet another puzzle game based on the famous Suica game, but instead of fruits, you use cut of anime heads. Dream Slayer is a fantasy first person hack and zap swarm arena game with retro styling. The Man Get Frog, <laughs> what a title, is a game about uh, composing silly or sweet short poems in the Japanese haiku style. Sonder is a co-op adventure where two players have to work together, engage in collaborative puzzle solving and dynamic combat.
Spark and Kling is a couch co-op puzzle platformer where the players will take the role of either Spark the electric bug or Kling the metal gel blob. This is for not flushing the toilet. Taste my balls. I'm executing your balls. This game has saved our marriage. Yes, it has. Spark and Kling is a couch co op puzzle game. Help each other out to overcome obstacles like turning on generators as Spark or throwing Metal Yell as Kling. Activate magnets to transport Kling. Possess different objects for your benefit. Destruction is fun. You can also travel through the Metal Yell. and shoot Kling to do a double jump. Cyclic Warriors is a movement shooter focused on the time travel and speed. You can play it solo with bots or online with trends. Seroth is an action adventure 3D platform. No, no, wait. 3D puzzle platformer, yes. Lil Arkeo is a 3D top-down exploration and adventure game where you play as a monkey with extremely huge ears that you just want to grab and rip off and watch it bleed to death. I hate every small furry humanoid. They remind me of Ewoks. Ascension is a single player action game that I tried out myself because it got negative reviews and I wanted to check what's wrong with it. And there's literally nothing wrong with it. One idiot left a negative review because it doesn't have graphic settings and the other moron left a bad review because uh, there are no saves. There are checkpoints, so why the fuck would you need saves? Violence Definitive Edition is a sci-fi drama visual novel.
World War Next is a low-poly multiplayer FPS that you can play solo with bots, but the game needs quite a lot of work. I encountered a bug where I couldn't move uh, and then I couldn't get out of the game, so I had to uh, Alt F4. But overall, I, I can see this being a fun game to play. of Atlantis, The Cove, is a match 3 type of game uh, with daily energy and of course in-game store where you can buy more energy to continue playing. But please do remember, do not waste your money, it's better to donate to charity than to give money to those greedy companies. We are done for this episode, my friends. I hope you did find something interesting for you to play. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!